It's Dot Detox. <laughs> Yo, what up Twitch and Twitter fam? So guys, I put out a tweet today uh, earlier about how I was able to get my OBS to stop lagging and dropping frames. It took me two months, a lot of research, and then it took me about six hours to figure it out. So guys, I am actually gonna walk you through this for free. I know, I'm just a nice little guy. I'm not a little big, but anyways, uh, for free um, and to show you guys how to do it, the steps you need to do it, and what you need to do to get your OBS or Streamlabs to stop dropping frames and lagging. Trust me, it is a nightmare and it's the most frustrating thing, but once you do these steps, it is easy as one, two, three. See, I thought it'd be kind of cheesy to do that, but whatever. Anyways, so guys, first and foremost, if you guys are already following us, please hit the follow button on Twitter, give us a follow, follow us on Twitch, go sub to us on YouTube, show some, show this video some love, share it with your friends, your loved ones, be like, yo, Doc Detox, he's the man, you know, with the plan. But all right, guys, so let's just jump over, this, jump over this real quick. So we're gonna come over here, I'm gonna walk everybody through it, so we're gonna put my display capture on so you guys see what I'm doing. So crazy thing is, we're gonna come here. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your GeoForce, uh, if you're using one, uh, AMD or whatever, or Univita, it's all up to date. I use the studio driver. That's just me. Um, personally, I think it's better. And then what you do is you're going to come over here and you're going to come over here to your settings. You're going to click on your settings and you're going to go to update security. This is where it gets fun. You're going to come over here to Windows security. And you're going to come down to firewall. Now, during the last update, Windows popped up. It screwed up a lot of things, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And one of the biggest issues is it made it where OBS is no longer accepted through the firewall. I figured that out about a couple weeks ago and then just been kind of doing more research. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to allow an app through a firewall. Boom. You're gonna come down. You're gonna look for your OBS or Streamlabs if it's already here, which it should be. Scroll down and boom. So right here, OBS Studio and my bottom OBS Studio, I use two of them. Uh, it's gonna show private and public. Make sure these are checked. If these aren't checked, um, depending on the network you're on, whether you're a private network like I am, or a public network like a lot of people are, if it's not checked, if the, the actual firewall is not gonna let the app through. That's one of the biggest issues that a lot of people have been having. So make sure those are checked, boom, boom. Uh, if, you, if you don't have OBS actually in here, then you would come over here to change settings, allow another app, and you would look for OBS itself, and then click and add it. Once you've done that step, you're gonna exit out, and you're gonna come over here to advanced settings. Once you go to advanced settings, make sure you allow to make changes, and this is where it gets fun. This is where I figured out my biggest issues and a lot of things that I had to go through. So, you're gonna come over here to inbound rules. Now you're actually gonna make a new rule. So as you can see here, I have Doc Detox Streaming right here. You're actually gonna go and click new rule. So when you click new rule, it's going to actually, I'll do it, I'll do it with you guys. So you're gonna click new rule. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna click port. Once you click port, go to next. Make sure it says all local port, or no, sorry. Make sure it says specific local ports. You're gonna then put in 19, Three, five. Once you do that, you're gonna click next again, and you're gonna allow this connection. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow uh, port 1935, which is made basically for streaming, uh, to view videos on Netflix, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and also your uh, software programs. You're gonna go to allow. You're gonna click next, and you're gonna make sure this is domain, private, and public. Once all these are clicked, you're then gonna go name it. And so like for me, I'm gonna cancel this. I named mine Doc Detox Streaming. Why? Because if I ever have issues, I can come back and be like, okay, let's make sure the rules and my codes are done. So if you click on Doc Detox Streaming, I obviously 1935 uh, port, I'll allow this connection. If you come over here to your uh, protocols and ports, you wanna make sure it's TCP. It's gotta be TCP for streaming. A lot of the, a lot of the update, from Windows made everything from TCP to UDP. 
So a lot of people have not even noticed this. And this is something that I was like, holy crap. So I actually had to go through for six hours and find out all the software programming I use and make sure it's all TCP. So you'll come over here, you'll click, obviously, boom, TCP. Make sure it's all ports on, all ports on. You don't have to mess with it because it's already in there. And then you're gonna come over here to program and services. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna come over here to advance. So yeah, so program and services is gonna be on the events. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come all the way down to edge traversal. Now this took me a, a little bit to figure out. And it says edge traversal allows the computer to accept unsolicited inbound packets that have uh, that have passed through an edge device such as a network address translation, a NAT, router, or firewall. But what I didn't realize is mine, and a lot of people, is block edge traversal. You don't want that. You want to allow it. Because what it's going to do is going to actually open your NAT. Believe it or not, I actually did this for my PlayStation, and now my PlayStation has an open NAT. Before, my PlayStation has used to have moderate NAT. So it means I'm going to get a lot more information. I'm not going to be... Uh, I'm not gonna have anything backed up in my packets, none of that stuff. It clears out a lot of your mess. Once you do that, and make sure you do it for the new rule you make, as I did here, so dot talk streaming, you know, it shows right here, go to advance, boom. Allow edge traversal. And when you make the new rule, you have to come over here and go to allow edge. It does not do it automatically. It has it on block. So that's something you gotta do, okay? And then make sure you do your protocol and ports and make sure this all reads TCP in 1935. Now, the cool part, here's what I had to figure out. OBS, when you come over here to OBS, you're gonna, let's click on it. And right here, allow the connection. OBS in the system, it showed up as UDP. So you're gonna do everything you did for port 1935 for your streaming, you're gonna do it for OBS. So you're gonna switch everything from protocol, protocol type UDP to TCP. You're gonna make sure it sits right here. It's gonna have all ports open. That's what you want. And then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna apply it. Once you do that, come over here to your advanced tab and see I'm a private. My everything I have is on private. So mine obviously is miss missing the domain. That's just how I have mine set up. But you're gonna come down here and make sure it allow edge traversal. Make sure this is clicked on. Once this is clicked on, your your stuff is gonna be like pfft amazing me i have a lot of obs's on here i think a lot of it was because of uh a lot of them are different for me but as you can see mine's all saying private and public i don't have a domain on it allow edge traversal but my green check marks on the software i'm using is what you want to make sure you have on pro on protocol 1935 and also on allow edge traversal as well now this is where it gets even better fun because actually this is something that i barely figured out uh that OBS kind of did. The OBS, if we come over here and go to settings, actually created this advanced, you know, this advanced tab. So we come down here. So right here, as you can see, it has bind to IP. Now I have mine on default right now because obviously I'm, I'm recording. I don't want you guys to see my IP address because some of you guys will try to steal my shit. But what you need to do is some of these have actually checked. So I actually had these two checked on accident and wasn't aware. Make sure you have enabled TCP disable. Enable TCP pacing. Disable it. Disable it. Disable it. Disable it. Mine has been enabled for God knows how long. And you read it. Attempts to make RTMP output friendly. Actually, let's click on it again because it kind of went away. Uh, it says uh, friendly to other latency sensitive application on the network by regulating the rate of transmission. It may increase the risk of drop frame to unstable connection. The moment I... I unclick enable TCP and I unclick uh, enable network optimization. I made sure I don't have this on dynamically. I don't really like that. And I have it on the IP that I want for me. Um, once I did all that, like I, I kid you not, my channel has not dropped a frame. It is buttery smooth. I stream on 720. Um, I don't really care to stream on 1080. I don't, I think it's a little too much. And um, I make everything, I make sure that Everything is the way it's supposed to be. So once you do that, disable, make sure it's not click, 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 boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then if you want to, little things you want to do, put your process priority above normal. It just helps out a little bit. Uh, these are my settings I have for my stream, but nothing too crazy. And then if you come over here to your output, I'm literally using uh, the NVIDIA NV, uh, NVENC, CVR 4500, 
two for my key my key uh, key from intervals my presets max quality my profile is high and then my max speed frames is two I don't mess with anything else this has always been checked um, enforce streaming service recorder check 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 that's all done but literally guys this right here took me months and I'm telling you guys two months and six hours worth of uh, tinkering with to get you this video right here so go through the steps I know I talk fast but it's just who I am but go through the steps tell me what you guys think and try it I promise you it's not gonna do any harm to your PC it's not gonna do any issues this is literally the best thing that I could have ever stumbled upon I I just took like I went to like 50 plus sites and I took information and I just cross researched it and I was like Process elimination. Okay, my computer doesn't do this. Okay, my computer doesn't do that. Because I have the my settings set up the way it is, and because I did all this, my CPU I barely use two percent while streaming. That includes my videos. That includes having YouTube up. Uh, if I'm if I'm playing my games and having music in the background, I barely peak maybe over five, and I've had zero drop frames. So do this. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Be like doc you're the best oh my god you're so amazing don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button over here on youtube and come check us out at twitch.tv slash doc detox guys i love you all peace enjoy that 10 what like 11 minute uh explanation on how to make your streaming life a lot better Jackie. later guys boom